kids always came to school by a combination of being picked up plus maybe a larger kind of bus thing. But the district was very large, from Jamaica to probably the northern part of Hastings. And school probably started 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock, because kids had chores before school. They had farming chores. But this is the original stairs. And I think it would be tough to make this come down. The building had radiant heat. Very, very unusual. It had electric lights and it had inside bathrooms, and it had radiant heat at a time when nobody had radiant heat. It's an amazing place. <laughs> Creaky stairs, don't you love it? These windows have been modified, but most of them are the same size. But the building leaked like a sieve, so in later years they had to put things up to uh, block the windows. Mother's Clubs had a lot to do with how schools were run. The Women's Club believed that if children were exposed to more natural light, that they would be healthier. And I think they were probably right. There were desks that were originally bought when they opened the school, and they spent $960 to buy desks for this school. And they were used up until the time it was closed. They played cards in this building and they played it upstairs too. They had bunco and college whisk and that's how the Mother's Club earned their money to uh, support the school. Anything the school needed outside of just the books and so on and so forth, the Mother's Club furnished. Classes were broke up. In other words, you had your first, second, third and fourth. They were taught by one teacher, you know, the younger ones learned and and the uh, older ones learned to help. They did have a bus, and it was by horse and buggy a lot, or a horse and on a wagon. The state had a curriculum, reading. We taught penmanship in those days. Of course, we started the day with the Pledge of Allegiance and singing, my country, tis of thee, which I couldn't hardly lead. Um, down here, on the lower level, was a kitchen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what's called a Hoosier. And it was a kind of self-contained kind of cupboard that people used in a kitchen. Gosh. Wow. Oh, here we go. They would have played basketball down here. This sink is original. They don't make these anymore. The building is currently used. It was bought by the 3M Union. They meet down here and they meet uh, upstairs. It's used uh, also for Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. You have to have somebody that, that lives in a structure, that works in a structure for it to be saved. It's kind of fun to be down here. After all these years.